I have been soaking 200 grams of yarn in approximately 20 to 25 grams of alum. It has been soaking for 24 hours. I have found if there's not enough alum or if I don't soak it long enough, the dye doesn't adhere to the fiber and it just runs out. I have placed my dye matter in a fine mesh polyester bag, but you could also use a fine mesh silk bag or a cotton bag. And this will act like a tea bag and keep all the dye matter contained. You will want to steep the dye matter for at least an hour in the pot on a fairly high temperature. And the best part is adding your fiber to the dye pot and just seeing that beautiful color come through. There is nothing like naturally dyed colors. They really pop and I'm not exactly sure what it is, but they look amazing like no other colors I've seen. One of my goals is to use more and more naturally dyed colors and as I learn I will become more confident and begin using natural dyes in my knitting projects. And yes I do care about nature and sustainability but most of all the colors are simply amazing. Don't be discouraged once you add your yarn to the pot. I have found that it takes at least half an hour for the dye color to actually adhere to the yarn. It can take up to the last minute in the half an hour for you to see the color come through the yarn. So natural dyeing requires a lot of patience and I'm still learning. Now that my tea bags have steeped for quite some time and I'm happy with the amount of color in the dye pot, I'm going to take them out. I have added 100 grams of dye matter to my 200 grams of yarn and there's going to be a lot of color left over and so I could over dye these again to get more color or I can just save the dye for later. I'm going to leave this overnight so that more dye bonds to the fiber. I have also experimented with a cold dyeing process where I leave my dye stuff in a container and I add my yarn and I leave it soaking overnight. And the results seem to be the same as the heated method. And I truly enjoy dyeing using the cold dye method. Because I don't have a lot of experience, I will heat it to 200 degrees in the oven just to get the dye to set to make sure it's not going to fade. The colors are so soft on the eyes. There's just something so mesmerizing about the natural dyes. I hope you enjoyed seeing this color come to life and if you did, please hit that like button and if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe so you can be notified. My name's Lori from Muffs Merino and my goal is to teach and inspire so you can create remarkable fiber art more quickly.